so we were talking in one of my previous videos how to start skating how to make first confidence steps on inline skates and and we were talking about the knee of that rolling foot and how to transfer energy from your torso to the cushion foot that is true about the initial first steps on skates but what to do if you have already gained some good speed if you will try to push as in the first steps like that to the back it won't be very effective the question is where to push and luckily first prehistorian skaters has find the good solution and the solution is to push to the side like that yes and you can see that pushing to the side i'm already getting more and more speed so that's the main idea and now let's talk how to make that push more effective first some skate instructors will tell you to push to the side through the hill like that yeah but that's not really the truth it's a trick that just makes you put your foot in the right position in fact you have to push with all your wheels three or four whatever the number you have we are transferring our power and it is much more effective to transfer it through all of the wheels since you are skating to the front there is always some desire to make something like that yeah and you can see that if i will be pushing through the hill there will be much less tendency to push like that we will be pushing to the side and that's okay the next tip you have to start with your rolling foot almost the same as in the first initial strides so you have to put it under your center of masses a little bit on the outside edge that will make your push all that process of pushing and you have to remember that we start pushing right from the beginning the first time we put it on the ground we already starting to unload our springs and of course if you are putting your leg somewhere to the side starting from here the length of the push will not be as long as you want to so we start under our center of masses sometimes even a little bit to the opposite side of the push and that gives us a good and deep pressure effect the next tip speed skaters are moving like that like they're tilting from one side to another so the beginners usually try to imitate that and they are sometimes over imitating it some of the beginners move like this and you can see that my way here is looking like some snake some asses that's not what we want we want our center of weights to move on one line so these small moves of the shoulders they are only answering to our pushes into the ground the idea is to keep your center of the weights on one line yeah the next tip we are transferring our energy from our weight from the weight of our torso to the ground and what we want is to lose as less energy as possible so we have to move it from the knee 
and to the ground in the straight line. So when you're pushing like that with some pronation, yeah, some of the energy doesn't go into the ground. It goes to the side, actually to the void. If you are feeling that your skate starts to pronate, you have to stop pushing. Try to keep the pushing leg in one line with the knee, like that. That's the final stage of my push. It's almost in one line and I'm getting the leg up. The next tip. The next question is what to do with that pushing leg when you have just pushed and lifted. And here we have to deal with the air resistance. And the best way to deal with the air resistance is so-called tuck. It looks like that. It is usually used by downhillers, downhill skaters to minimize the air resistance. You have to move your pushing leg somewhere behind you to minimize the air resistance. You don't have to put it on the wheel, of course. It is just hanging somewhere. But the position is quite similar to that downhill tuck. Yes? I'm quite a clumsy person. Clumsy. I'm not very good at it. The next tip. You don't have to forget about the basics. And the basics are that you are moving with your knees and with your hips. So the hip and the knee is going to the front. And you have to bend your knee. Bend your knee like that. Yes, like in one foot skating. Try to avoid that thing. When you're pushing and your front wheel is somewhere in front. The knee is in front. The wheel is under the knee. And that will give you good pressure and good energy transfer. So let's repeat all the elements of good push when you are moving on a speed. First, you are pushing to the side. Second, you are performing the push right from the beginning. You put your rolling foot under your center weights. You are not moving too much with your shoulders. Your center weight should be on one line. You are pushing with all your wheels, three or four. You are trying to keep the straight line with your hip, your knee and your skate. And you are trying to avoid air resistance so, uh, so, uh, so you are removing that hanging foot somewhere behind you. And also we are starting from the outside edge under the center of weights and that will make your stride on a speed effective good balanced and fast i suppose talking about the hands and your arms if you already gained enough speed arms will not help you in further moving. They are good for accelerating, but not for the speed and constant skating. So you can just hide it behind your back. But you should always be ready to fall. So you have to be like in that westerns. Hop! Guns out. Guns out. And you can fall on your hands without hurting your pretty face. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. That's a shame. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.